Like to remind, it looks like you're in the forest today. What do you have up there on the board? I'd like to show you a really nice problem on amino acids and proteins. As you all know, an amino acid represents a monomer, and groups of amino acids link together, and we make polymers called proteins. So come in and let's have a look. Okay, um, Dr. Romano. I want you to remember that normally, if you hear the word protein, it contains the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Never forget sulfur. It's always a common question. Very rarely you'll see an odd protein with selenium, but they're the main elements. What I'm going to do is take a nona peptide. Nona means it contains nine amino acids, and I'm going to treat it with HCl for 24 hours and blow the whole thing apart. And we get one phenylalanine, and in biochemistry, we call it just phen. And then we get two alanines, which we call ala, two prolines, which we call pro, two serines, which um, we abbreviate as ser, and two glycines. By the way, glycine is the only optically inactive amino acid. It's a good question you should remember. All right, just, just double check it. We have two, four, six, eight, and nine, so it makes sense. So we've blown this apart. We hydrolyzed it. Now, the Edmund degradation gave gly, and the carboxypeptidase reaction gave ser. Now, you might say, what the hell does that even mean? If you looked over here at an amino acid, I drew out nine. That's the known peptide. The left side is the N-terminal, and the right side is what we call the C-terminal. The Edmund degradation identifies the amino acid on the position of the N-terminal. So if I say to you, it gave gly, that means that the first amino acid on the left side is going to be a gly, because the Edmund gave gly, meaning it reacted with glycine. Carboxypeptidase reacts at number nine, because that's going to represent the C-terminal. So if we know nothing else, at least we know it's going to start with a gly, and it's going to end with a ser. So that means three four, five, six. So that means that there's seven more we need to complete. Got it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a partial hydrolysis of this. Partial hydrolysis of this known peptide gave pro ala ala, ala ala pro, glycer pro, and pro fencer. Now, the best way to do it, what I like, is I like to take the longest fragment, or the, or the one in greatest amount. Well, they're all three. They're all tripeptides, so it doesn't matter where you start. So I just numbered this just randomly, and I'll start with Glycer Pro. So I wrote down Glycer Pro. Underneath, you want to do what I call matching sequences. So number two is Pro Ala Ala. So notice I lined up the word Pro, so pretend this is not there. So Pro Ala Ala. Then I look for another sequence, ala ala pro, and that would match here, ala ala pro, and then finally, pro fencer, pro fencer. So then we come down, boom, 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 boom. So we get a gly, ser, pro, just count once, Got then it. ala, ala uh -huh. again, pro fencer. Now, Stop right there and let's have a look. Are we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-oh, eight. That's eight. That's an octopeptide. It said it was a nonapeptide. So the question is, what's missing? Well, we see from up here that we have two glides. And here, if, if we stopped it here, that means there's only one glide. So the question is, are we going to put the glide on the left side or the right side? Well... The Edmund said it gave gly, so that means the other gly had to be on the left side. So all this is the same, except you had to have the other gly, you had to bring that down, has to be on the left side to, to represent the end terminal. So therefore we get gly gly ser, pro ala ala pro fen ser, for our nona peptide. It's a really easy problem and they're fun. They're called overlapping peptides. You may argue, well, this is at the end of the orgo, maybe, or the beginning of bio, or if you have a teacher who does a little of both, you might catch it in each of the sections. But it's a really cool problem. I thought you'd really like to explore it with me. It's a rare question, um, and I hope this helps, and it's a really fun question. Thanks, Dr. Romano. You made it so easy to understand.
right, get back to work. Good day to you. Okay, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.